Hi everyone, you can see I have a special guest with me. This is board certified dermatologist, Dr. Sam Ellis. And she's here because we have a very special Naturium launch. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. It's our new acne collection. All right, so acne is a really hard topic. Most people will deal with it, right? Yeah, 85% of people we estimate will get acne at some point in their life. Meaning like you can be a teenager or you can be an adult. Yeah, that's even harder is you've gotten through your teenage years without acne, you thought you made it through and then it pops up in your adult life. This is me. When I was like 29, <laughs> I got off my birth control and immediately started getting really bad breakouts. And I think the worst thing about being an adult with acne is you immediately start to think about your teenage years of like walking into a drugstore and then there are these like very typical acne treatments that are just really harsh on your skin and you use them you irritate your skin right. and then you think that you're all you're all done yeah you think okay I'm irritated I'm scaly my skin hurts it must be working right but in reality it can sometimes make it worse absolutely so this is something that we really kept in mind with this acne collection we wanted to make sure everyone has this elevated experience just like they do with all of the other Naturium right. products we wanted the formulas to feel beautiful we took skin health into account as well we didn't want these products to be over irritating right. for skin mm -hmm. especially for acne absolutely but we also wanted them to be effective. So we took a look at some of the types of ingredients out there right. and really just formulated these to be different and better. Yeah, I think that's a really good point is that these products are elevated. It's an elevated experience and half the battle with acne is being consistent with your routine and you need products that you like to use, that you're inspired to use. So I think that's a big win for Naturium. Yeah, and we all know that consistency is key when it comes to treating The most anything. important thing, yeah. So you wanna get into the products? Let's do it. All right. All right, so first up is our benzoyl peroxide cream cleanser 5%. Tell us why benzoyl peroxide, especially in a cleanser, is really important. So benzoyl peroxide is a staple acne treatment ingredient. If I have a new patient coming into my office and they're starting to treat acne for the first time, I always recommend something with benzoyl peroxide. And that's because benzoyl peroxide not only kills acne causing bacteria, but it helps with oil control and it helps clean out your pores. But there can be side effects, right? Absolutely. Benzoyl peroxide can be irritating or drying. So it's one of those things that you have to find the perfect product for you. And I think maybe we might've created that <laughs> one. <laughs> so it makes this a little bit different is that we used a micronized benzoyl peroxide, meaning that the molecules are a little bit smaller. Right. That means that it actually penetrates your pores a little bit deeper. Yes. Now I know that sounds like, well then that could probably be more drying. Mm -hmm. So we took that into account. <laughs> we put this in a really beautiful, creamy texture that's very nourishing for the skin. It's a gorgeous form. Yeah, it does not dry out your skin, considering that it's also benzoyl peroxide, which I feel right. like you know, that's like one of the things that you always hear. It still has to do what we want it to do. Right. It needs supportive ingredients. Exactly. To really help reduce that drying, mm -hmm. we actually included a couple of really great ingredients. One of them is an amino sugar. Right. It's biocompatible, meaning that your skin recognizes this. And this is something that we actually make sure we have in every single Naturium right. formula is ingredients that your skin can recognize. It's important. It, it's really important because it means that your skin is ready to work with it. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> and that's going to help your skin hold on to hydration, which kind of exactly. counteracts that one main side effect of benzoyl peroxide yep. that's so many patients complain about. Exactly, exactly. So it's really gonna help reduce that drying. Yes. There's also xylitol, which also helps to increase that hydration in your skin, which I think a lot of people are surprised about because they hear it and they're like, is that like in gum? Is yeah. one of those like Sugar? sugars? <laughs> yes, sugars are humectants and they're yes. very hydrating for your skin. So we included both of those in here. And then one of the other things you'll mm -hmm. notice about this is that this creamy texture is very low lather. Mm -hmm. Not that lather is bad, right. but a lot of the time it can be a little bit more drying for the skin. Right. So we made this more of a low lather kind of cleanser which I, you know, I really want to point out because some people will message us and they'll be like, this doesn't get foamy. Right. It doesn't mean it's not working. <laughs> no. It's really actually better for your skin. Absolutely. And the other thing that I really like is even patients who I have on a prescription acne treatment, I will still recommend a benzoyl peroxide cleanser for them. And because other acne treatments can be really drying, having a good supportive benzoyl peroxide cleanser is very helpful. So a benzoyl peroxide cleanser, would that be for somebody that's dealing with a very specific type of acne or all types of acne? That's a good question. You can actually use benzoyl peroxide cleansers for all types of acne, whether it's hormonal, whether it's on your body, whether it's on your face or on your forehead, you can use benzoyl peroxide anywhere and it's always helpful. And then as far as usage goes, mm -hmm. how often would you recommend using this? I typically recommend using a benzoyl peroxide cleanser once a day. It can be in the morning or at night, kind of depending on where it fits best in your routine. Okay. All right, so next up we have two salicylic acid products. One of them is our salicylic acid serum 2%. And then the other one is our encapsulated salicylic acid moisturizer 0.75%. So tell me why salicylic acid specifically is important when it comes to acne treatment. So salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid and it really works by exfoliating out the pore. It is oil soluble. So it delves into the pore and breaks up that clump of sebum and dead skin cells and really helps it exfoliate to prevent the acne from ever happening in the first place. Yeah, and I think that's something that makes it very different from other exfoliants 
clumps, right? Yeah, its ability to really seek out that clump and get into the follicle. The other nice thing about salicylic acid is it is anti-inflammatory and a huge part of acne is inflammation. Mm -hmm. and so inflammation is like that redness that you see. Absolutely, and pain and swelling. Those yeah. are all signs of inflammation. Right, I actually didn't even think about that. When you're getting a pimple, you sometimes know it because you can feel the pain. Yeah, absolutely, and that's inflammation. So anything you can do to reduce inflammation in your acne regimen is going to be helpful. It's gonna make your skin look better and feel better. So what makes this really interesting is that it's first off, it's a serum, which I think is a really nice way to get salicylic acid into your skincare Definitely. routine. I also just really love that this is super hydrating. You can see that the texture is this really nice light just hydrating it's texture. Yeah, yeah, for people who love like a nice hyaluronic acid serum, for instance, yes. this can take the place of that because you're gonna get that plumping, kind of hydrating benefit while also treating your acne. Yes. Yeah, and I even think people that have just oily skin and aren't necessarily acneic, though I feel like the two go hand in hand, they, right? Yeah, they're yeah. firm partners. Yeah, <laughs> you can definitely see a lot of benefit from using a salicylic acid serum like this because Absolutely. again, you're gonna get that plumpness, but you're also gonna get that oil control. Absolutely, especially for people who find that they just have like texture on their skin, they might not say, oh, I have acne, but they notice they have little bumps or their pores are just more prominent. Something with salicylic acid can really help with that too. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it at 2%? I think that's great. You know, 2% is the highest percentage you can get over the counter. So it is a potent product for sure, but because it has those other nourishing ingredients, you're not gonna have as many of those side effects that can happen. All right, so when it comes to salicylic acid in our moisturizer, yes. this is our encapsulated salicylic acid moisturizer, 0.75%. Yes. So this one was really interesting and, and something that I really wanted to make mm -hmm. because I I feel like I just constantly hear people say that they're looking for a moisturizer that's good for their acne yeah. skin. Absolutely, right? there's so many of my patients who have acne and they're like, I can't use moisturizer because it's gonna break me out more or it just isn't comfortable on the skin. So having salicylic acid in a moisturizer I think is a great idea. And we put it at 0.75% because 2% can be very drying yes. for a lot of people. And I think you know that's obviously a, a common side effect of an oil soluble kind of ingredient like mm -hmm. salicylic acid, right? Yes, I think 0.75% is great. I think Sometimes, you know, you wanna push the limits, right? If 2% is the max you can do, that's great in some products, but there are other products that you really wanna be able to use every day. They're gonna be more gentle on the skin, especially for people who have more sensitive skin. So having a product that has 0.75% sal acid is awesome. Also, you wanna be able to use your moisturizer every single day and you don't wanna be overly dry from it. So using a product like that, I think is perfect. Yeah, and you know, again, we took that into account that this could be a product that you wanna use once or even maybe twice a day, totally. but you also wanna have that salicylic acid. So we also used it in encapsulated salicylic acid in here. And that's mostly because a lot of people don't realize that salicylic acid can crystallize. Yeah. So in a moisturizer specifically, we wanted to make sure it feels nice and smooth and very hydrating and nourishing for the skin. Right. So we put it in this one specifically. It's awesome. Another ingredient that we put in here mm -hmm. that I think is just really interesting, it also helps to brighten your skin, is dioic acid. Yes. And I like dioic acid because it's kind of like a, like a baby sister of azelaic acid. Yeah, they're very related. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite ingredients. So Same. we thought that this might be something that would be great for people who, again, might have sensitive but acne prone skin or oily skin. Totally. That's also sensitive. And I feel like these are the people <laughs> that really don't have the products for them. No, they need help. And another nice thing about dioic acid is it helps brighten the skin. So a lot of people who deal with acne blemishes that sort of stick around or they have a little bit of pigmentation in the skin afterward, having something with dioic acid can help brighten the complexion overall. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a really great thing, especially if you deal with that, like, post-inflammatory yeah. hyperpigmentation. Yes, yeah. exactly. So for me, when we were formulating these, we really took into account that person who messages and they're like, I have acne, but I also have sensitive skin and there is nothing out there for me. So that's who we really had in mind when we were formulating this. Yeah. Is this a product that you see for other people too? Yeah, I think if you have sensitive skin and you're looking for something that's going to support your skin, but also have a treatment in it, a salicylic acid moisturizer is such a nice place to start and sort of dip your toe into the acne treatment world. See what your skin can tolerate. Sometimes that might be it, but you also then might be able to incorporate other things afterward. That makes sense. I also think it's really important to continuously point out, I, I say this to people all the time, I know that we have a lot of products. And what we're really trying to do is create solutions for different types of skin issues. Yes. I always want everyone to have a personalized skincare routine. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that you have to buy every <laughs> single product yes. and the entire collection and use everything together to see results. We actually make every product hoping that you're gonna be able to pick and choose the ones that you want to use. Absolutely. Sometimes together, sometimes not. But these are definitely products that I would not put together necessarily. Right. So who would be the best people for these? So I think for the serum, that's the 2% salicylic acid. That's more for an oily skin type, someone who's looking for a little bit of plumpness and hydration, but they might already have a moisturizer in their routine that they really jive with and they don't wanna necessarily take that out. Mm -hmm. Having a serum in their routine underneath that moisturizer I think is great. I 
always seem to find that people will reach out, they have oily skin, but it's dehydrated. Yes, oily skin. All the time, their skin lacks that water. It needs something to trap the water against their skin and sort of pull that water to the surface. Mm -hmm. And so a serum like that that's plumping, great. So when it comes to the moisturizer, again, people who have sensitive but acne prone skin mm -hmm. or even oily skin, that's who we had in mind. I feel like you said to me that this would be great also for even like teens, right? So good for teens. A lot of people will just start to see a little bit of texture on their skin. They're just starting to get breakouts and they're kind of in the place in their life where they haven't really established a good skincare routine yet. And I always want my patients on a cleanser and a moisturizer to start. So having a moisturizer that has a little bit of an acne fighter in it is perfect. What do you think about using a benzoyl peroxide cleanser with a salicylic acid product? I would start with one. It doesn't mean that they can't be used together, but I usually start with one or the other, make sure you can tolerate it, that you're not having any effects. And then you can think about or try introducing another product. And oftentimes they will work really nicely together, but you gotta go low and slow. You don't wanna go full steam ahead and then just irritate your skin and then just quit. And that's really common in acne because you have these bumps. You wanna get rid of them as fast as you can. You wanna try everything all at once. And that's a really common problem that I run into with my patients is they've gone in too hard, too fast. And it's really about going low and slow and slowly incorporating in products that you like and work with your skin. And then last is our sulfur spot treatment, 8%. And I know yeah. that you're a fan of sulfur, right? I love sulfur. I mean, I think it's because I have had acne in my life, I've had rosacea in my life, and sulfur is such a great ingredient for both of those conditions. So tell us a little bit about how sulfur works compared to like a salicylic acid. Yeah, so sulfur is antibacterial and it also is antifungal and it helps sop up extra oil. So mm. it's great for acne because acne, one of the main causes is having bacteria on the skin that clogs your pore and causes inflammation. So anything you can do to reduce the bacteria on your skin, it's gonna be helpful. So can you use sulfur and salicylic acid together? Yeah, you absolutely can. They work differently, but remember, both are gonna target oil, and so you have to be careful that you don't overly dry your skin out if you are going to use both in the same routine. Yeah, so we went ahead and put 8% sulfur in this yes. product specifically, and we wanted to really take that into account. We wanted it to be at a percentage that we felt like people would see a big difference. Yeah, it's gonna be skin. effective at that percentage yeah. for sure. But we made it a spot treatment mm -hmm. in case it gets a little bit too dry, and we don't want people to like overly dry out their entire face. I totally think that's a great idea. It's a good place to start with sulfur. You know, one of the other things that I really love is that, again, we're trying to give you that like elevated experience here. So it has this nice, beautiful, creamy texture. Mm -hmm. It does dry down, but not into this really hard, Crusty. Kind of, yeah, yeah, like mask. <laughs> type We've all of been there. Sure, <laughs> you know, it feels nice on your skin. Yeah. The other thing that we did is we put really great ingredients in here that complement the sulfur. So we have reishi, which mm -hmm. is a type of mushroom that's very soothing and nourishing for your skin. Yes. There are also other really nice supportive ingredients. There's tranexamic acid. Love. There's niacinamide, <laughs> also very brightening for your skin. And I feel like with a spot treatment, you especially want something that's brightening yes. because you're going to potentially have that PIH. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you have a big pimple, it can leave pigmentation behind. So having something within your spot treatment that also is going to treat the aftermath of that pimple is awesome. Mm -hmm, definitely. And then we also included an amino sugar in here. Again, that's very hydrating for the skin. So it's gonna be very nice and very just soothing mm -hmm. to your skin while it's treating your acne. Absolutely. I feel like sometimes when people think they need to use a spot treatment, they wanna like suck all the moisture out of their pimple. They really wanna just go at it as hard as they can. And that's not really necessary. No, definitely not. I also feel like sulfur is one of those ingredients that women who are pregnant constantly look for Absolutely. when they're dealing with acne specifically. Totally, sulfur is super safe in pregnancy, which is great to have something that you feel really confident using because that's the time in your life where you're a little worried about ingredients overall and mm -hmm. sulfur is 100% approved. That said, do you think all of these products and ingredients are okay to use while you're pregnant or breastfeeding? Absolutely, while trying to conceive, while pregnant, while breastfeeding, I would feel comfortable using all of these and all of these ingredients. Is that due to the percentages used or just in general? Just in general, the ingredients in total are fine. Okay. So that's the new Naturium Acne Collection. Mm -hmm. I'm really pumped about this. I really do feel like there are no other products on the market like it. I know that there are other benzoyl peroxide cleansers sure. and salicylic acid products, but these products are really beautiful. They really are. And I feel like as a dermatologist, you sometimes get stuck in recommending the same over-the-counter products over and over and over again, but they're not exciting for the patient to use. You might be worried about the potential side effects they might have. So I'm excited to have some new stuff to recommend. Yeah, I'm really excited about that too. If you guys have any questions, you can always find us on Instagram. We're at Naturium Skin. Where can they find you? I have an Instagram as well, at Dr. Samantha Ellis, and a YouTube channel, Dr. Sam Ellis. Yep, hit us up with any questions in the comments below, and we'll talk to you guys soon.